Welcome to ECLMO Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed expansion in solids and even the application of expansion in solids. In this lesson, we are going to discuss expansion and contraction in liquids. And what we are going to realize is that liquids expands more than solids. And the reason why liquids expands more than solids is because of the weak intermolecular force between the particles, which when you increase the temperature, that force is weakened more and the particles move slightly far away from each other, leading to increase in volume of the liquids. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to explain why liquids expand and contract, especially when you increase their temperature and decrease their temperature respectively, and then describe a demonstration on expansion in liquids, a demonstration on contraction in liquids, and then finally be able to answer some questions on expansion in liquids. Now, why do liquids expand on heating? And in fact, we started by saying liquids will expand more than solids. Remember what we said in particulate nature of matter, the particles of liquids are loosely held. The particles are loosely held uh, and they are loosely held because the force of attraction between them, that is the cohesive. Cohesive force of attraction is very weak. Now, when this cohesive force is very weak, it means these particles are moving freely. Remember, we said liquids experience brown and motion. Now, if you increase the temperature, if you increase the temperature of this liquid, then it means the speed or the, 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 the velocity, the speed at which these particles will be moving will also increase. And when the speed increases, the collision, the collision between the particles which will be moving randomly and knocking each other, the collision will increase and therefore the, the force between them will be weakened more and the particles will move slightly more far away from each other. In that case, the liquid will occupy more space and we will say it has expanded. So liquids expand when the temperature is increased, the particles will move more randomly the collision will increase and then the particles will move slightly far away from each other, occupying more volume. Now we have an experiment which you can perform to prove that liquids expand on heating. And what you do, you fill the round bottomed flask with water and then dip a glass, a straw inside. And you realize that some water will rise up to some level in, inside this a glass straw. Now, upon heating at the base of this round bottom of the flask, what you realize is, is that some water will fall slightly inside the straw. And then after some time, the water level will rise steadily inside the straw. Now, the reason why water level falls slightly is because when you heat down here, the glass which, is a, which makes the round bottom of the flask is a solid it will expand fast because it will get the heat fast. When it expands, it will occupy a larger volume. Now the water will move down to occupy the volume created by the expanding uh, round bottom of the flask. Now, after some time, the heat will reach this water here. Now, since we have said liquids expand more than solids, now the water will expand more and occupy a larger volume. So it will be forced out of these straws. Now it will make it to rise inside the straw to look for another volume which it can occupy or another space where it can occupy. So you have to be very keen on the observation made here. At the beginning, the water falls slightly. It falls slightly because the flask expanded fast because it got the heat fast. After some time, the heat reached this, the water and then the water started rising steadily. Now the reason why it rises steadily is because uh, liquids, ex liquids like water expands more than solids. 
Now, what if you substitute heating with ice cold water? Let's say now instead of putting heat here, you bring ice here. This is ice. Instead of heating, you cool. This one you cool instead of heating. You cool by introducing ice. Now, if you introduce ice, what you are going to realize is that the water level inside this uh, straw will rise slightly. And then after some time, the water level will fall consistently or constantly. Now, the reason why the water level at first rise slightly is because whenever you are cooling, the flask, which is a solid, will get the coldness first. Now, when the flask gets the coldness first, it will contract. When it contracts, it will occupy a smaller volume. The water which the coldness has not reached has the same volume as the initial one. Therefore, it will rise up slightly so that it can occupy a larger volume which has been reduced by the flask. Now, after some time, the water level will be observed falling constantly because now the coldness will move from the glass to water. Now, since liquids contract more than solids, the water will contract more and then it will occupy a smaller volume. Therefore, it will fall down so that it can occupy the smaller volume since it has contracted. So it's very important to note the observations made when you are cooling. When you are cooling, you will see the water level rising slightly and then after some time, the water level will fall constantly. It rises slightly because the, the flask will get the coldness first. It will contract. Now the water will rise to occupy a larger, a larger volume since its volume has not changed. Now after some time, the coldness will reach the water since liquids contract more than solids, the water will contract more than the flask and therefore it will occupy a smaller volume that's why the liquid inside the straw falls constantly. So we are going to realize that different liquids expand and contract at different rates. And if we replace the experiment above, which we used to water, we replace now with alcohol and methylated spirit. We keep the round bottom the flask the same. The source of heat, we keep it the same. What we are going to realize that water will rise to a smaller height, then alcohol will rise to a higher height, and then methylated spirit will rise the highest height. This means that methylated spirit will expand more than alcohol, and alcohol will expand more than water. That means that methylated spirit has weaker intermolecular forces, which can be broken easily, and therefore the liquid particles will move very far away from each other. Alcohol has relatively weak the molecular forces. When the heat is introduced, the particles move slightly far away from each other than in water, which have relatively stronger intermolecular forces. So in this case, we conclude that different liquids have different linear expansivities. So let's handle one question here. The question reads, in the setup shown in figure below, it's observed that the level of water initially drops before start to rise. Uh, explain. So here, the water fell first, and then after some time, the water started rising. Now, the reason why the water falls is because the flask, which is in this case a solid, gained heat fast, gained heat fast and created more volume, created more volume. So water falls to occupy the volume, to occupy the volume created created by the expanding flask. Then after some time, water rises because, because the heat 
from the flask or from the source to the flask reached the water and since liquids expands more than solids which is a flask it will expand the liquid will expand that is in this case water to occupy occupy more volume therefore rises inside the straw so the reason why water rises is because the, the heat reached the water heat reached the water and the since liquid so here you must compare the two uh, substances liquids and solids so since liquids expand more than solids it will expand and occupy more volume and therefore it will rise to look more for more volume where it can occupy and then the initial the water failed because at the beginning the heat reached the flask first without reaching the water and therefore the flask expanded to create more volume and then the water fell to occupy the volume created by this expanding uh, uh, flask so for you to answer this question so at the end you must compare the two expansivities of solids and liquids otherwise if you don't compare them it means both of them are expanding because as you continue heating the two will be expanding so if you cannot tell us which one will expand more then you could have not answered this question so the complete explanation here is that the flask which is a solid gained the heat first created more volume so the water falls to occupy the volume created by the expanding flask after some time the water the heat reached the water and since liquids expand more than solids it will expand to occupy more volume therefore it will rise inside the straw to find more space where it can occupy now i'm leaving the last question as your assignment so attempt it if you get any challenge feel free to visit ECLEMU learning simplified for more questions and solutions like this